Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. My name is Vera Lynn. Today I would like to do a spirit animal reading for you as well as I wanted to talk about the full moon tonight. Today is May 18th, okay? Depending on where you're from, the full moon is happening at different times. But this is a full moon in Scorpio, guys. A lot of people are a little bit concerned about conflicts or kind of a conflict within yourself about control. So during this time, I want you to kind of give up control, make sure you're not letting your fears run your life, whether it's fears about career, your romance, um, education, especially finances too, with it being a full moon in Scorpio. Just don't worry about it, don't fret it, okay? Kind of use it to your emotion. I know some of you guys who have been reading my, or been listening to my readings always hear me say that chaos brings change and full moon in Scorpio is probably going to bring that for some of you guys. So just make sure that you're not stressing over control in your life, you know, the little issues. Just kind of pick your battles, so to say. And also it, there's going to be psychic abilities you might see yourself having a little bit more insight um, you know may, maybe some of you guys might be experiencing paranormal activity as well as maybe even talking to you know spirits or people who have passed okay so that's a little bit what's going on they also call it the corn planting moon um, the milk moon but it's normally called the blue flower moon because at this time of May more blue flowers are blooming um, it's a really fruitful time of year too as well okay so I okay so I am going to pull from the animal spirit deck for you guys and we're just gonna do a spirit animal for today so I hope you guys like this short video I usually do 12 readings each month for every zodiac sign as well as I do live streams so if some of you guys aren't a part of the spiritual community already go ahead and subscribe and more importantly hit that notification bell so you can join in for one of them live streams and get yourself a free reading because it is first come first serve okay guys so i am going to start a shuffle i'm just going to put the camera down because i'm literally holding my gopro right now outside so i'm going to put the camera down i'm going to do a little bit of shuffle and then i'll go over the spirit animal as well as probably read from the guidebook too as well okay Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys seen that? I'm so glad I was recording. <laughs> yeah, it's the scorpion. Okay, let me fix my camera real quick. Okay, so sure enough, <laughs> I'm glad I was actually filming while I was shuffling because this card popped out. Some of you guys seen that? Scorpion. It's May 18th. Tonight is a full moon in Scorpio and you guys got the scorpion as your spirit animal. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to read from the guidebook, but um, a lot of you guys kind of know the transformation and, you know, the kind of being bold, being strong that a Scorpio brings. So I'm going to read from the book. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Sometimes I've been reading tarot for years, but sometimes it still shocks me on how accurate and um, eye-opening it can be on messages that need to be told to us, okay? We just got to listen. We got to open our eyes. <laughs> All right, guys, so I have the guidebook here. I apologize for the noise background. Everybody is enjoying this lovely May day. Okay, so in this guidebook, um, according to this deck, scorpions represent fire. Okay, so there's something that maybe you need to be a little bit more passionate about, kind of seek out in life. Okay, Scorpio? And it's really funny. You guys see me. I shuffled it. The card did fall out. And I'm actually even wearing a scorpion bracelet for some of you guys who can see that. So I didn't even plan to pick that out today um, when I put on my bracelets. It kind of just happened. So it being a full moon in Scorpio, we got the scorpion card. A lot of scorpion energy going on for the rest of May. Okay, guys. So I'm going to read from the book here. Bear with me, like I said, some background noises and stuff, okay? The scorpion is a passionate and determined creature. Their career is very important to them, as are a few select friends. Sometimes the scorpions heat flusters and they focus on unsolved events, which I feel like is what this new, this full moon is representing, that you can't really focus on what you can't change, okay? Uh, focus on things you can change, okay? All right. 
Okay, they even focus on all unsolved events from the past, usually a situation where they're left feeling buried. The Scorpion card says it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual self. All right, fiery but fun. <laughs> when you're in balance, you're wild, free, and fierce. Okay, and I know a lot of us feel like that when things are really going well, you know. When out of balance, you feel jealous, resentful, and unsolved. And this is where I'm saying that don't let those conflicts from the new moon in Scorpio really kind of take over your relationships, whether it's romance, business, whatever it might be. Um, know that it's not affecting you. It is affecting everybody. So just kind of walk lightly, okay? Kind of communicate with a peaceful side, okay? All right, to bring back into balance, you need honesty and forgiveness, it says, okay? And that's from the lovely guidebook, all right? Okay, guys, I'm so glad I actually recorded it because I could not make this stuff up myself, so just make sure that you get out in that full moon, recharge your crystals, recharge yourself, and also do a little ritual, something to empower yourself, okay? All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am the Gypsy, Carolyn. You guys have a beautiful day.